Okay. So we're on to week number 14. And the injuries are getting out of control. Let me tell you, the injuries are getting out of control. Uh, uh, if you're hearing my voice, it's not it's not back. It's been kind of off all week long. Um, yeah, it's been kind of rough trying to speak. Uh, I'm telling you, Monday, it was rough. Like the, like that Monday, I got s- kind of sick, and now I'm, I'm getting close to 100%, but my voice isn't back yet. It's close. But yeah, week 13 in a nutshell, just more injuries happened to the NFL. That's just like, wow. At this point, I'm just like, wow. Another injury happened? That's crazy. You know, one day the Packers and the Rams, they're at 500. You know, the legend of Jordan Love is growing. That's crazy. Matthew Stafford and the Rams are, you know, they're not they're not completely cohesive. The Rams are not completely cohesive. They're not a great team. But because of the way the NFC is right now, you have a couple of really good teams. And then, you know, you have a bunch of gluts in the battling for the final two spots. The Rams are in a position to be in position right now. And, you know, with the way these backups have been coming in, you know, Joe Flacco had to come in this week. Of course, he threw a arm putt interception. It's the Joe Flacco way. The only thing elite about him is his Nike socks. And guess where I got that quote from? Uh, you have C.J. Beathard coming in for Trevor Lawrence, who's hurt his ankle. We'll see. If he's able to start against Cleveland on Sunday, Brett Rippon potentially coming in, you know, for the Jets. But it looks like Zach Wilson's going to start this week anyway. You know, Zach Wilson was, was like, I don't even want to start no more. I don't want to start anymore. But it's like, you're going to start, Mr. Wilson. You're going to start. And then Mitch Trubisky coming in for Kenny Pickett. I know. Crazy, right? The, the, the list of backups starting games is growing. Um, The 49ers, on the other hand, they don't have that issue. The talent, the high-end talent, the absolutely good, really, really good talent of the 49ers got it back against Philly. San Fran is looking like the team that they were the first couple weeks of the season, the first five, six weeks of the season before that losing streak started. They're, They're looking like that team again. The way the offense clicked, the way the defense shut everybody down. You know, Jalen Hurts looked, he looked rattled in there. He even was like concussed for a few minutes and everything like that. I mean, it was just the 49ers dominated that game from start to finish. Cowboys Seahawks also was, you know, a game that was very high scoring. It was a ref show. Unfortunately, like both teams had nearly 20 penalties combined. Then there was a couple of crazy penalties in the Packers Chiefs game. You know, we're talking, but Shaco got ejected. We're talking um, Greenlaw. You know, Greenlaw in the um, 49ers Philly game got ejected. But we're talking, but Shaco got ejected too. We're talking a phantom call, you know, that favored Mahomes and everything like that. We're talking a phantom DPI, you know, the same, same old usual stuff. With the refs and then Tank Dell got hurt. That's unfortunate, man. I, I'm really, I'm really kind of sad about that because you know the injury kind of you know messed things up for my gambling addiction. <laughs> you know, it kind of messed things up for my gambling addiction because uh, he was gonna go over. He was gonna, he was gonna catch as many, you know, catches from CJ Stroud. But it's okay, it's okay. You know, CJ has. Of the security blankets as well in his pocket, you know. And I mean, the battle between CJ Stroud and Russell Wilson was really good. Cortland Sutton continues to impress. I mean, the man has been catching touchdowns every other week, it seems like at this point. He's like the only guy for the, for, for the Broncos to be catching touchdowns at this point, I swear. Like, I'm not even joking with you. I swear that's the only guy that's catching touchdowns for the 
Broncos, like you, like don't dispute the facts. Like, tell me that's a lie. Do you, do you think I'm lying that Cortland Sutton is the only guy catching TDs for you know the for the Broncos? Do you think I'm lying about that? I don't think I'm lying about that. So anyway, we're on to week number fourteen. We got. We got some storylines to look for. We got some storylines, you know. The again, Matthew Stafford. We're trying to trying to figure out if this crew can keep it up. You know, they've had their moments, but the Rams. You know, they face Baltimore, really tough Baltimore team. That's going to have a lot, you know, to continue to try and show us. As we get down into the nitty gritty and late into the season, everything we're getting deeper and deeper to the month of December. So, you know, things are starting to come to a head, and you know, the Rams are fighting for their playoff lives at this point. Trevor Lawrence again, will he start against the Browns? I have no idea who Jacksonville's backup is at this point. I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know who Jacksonville's backup is. I mean. You, you tell me at this point. I don't even want to know. Um, you know, I've been kind of pounding this question in for the past few weeks about the Seahawks. You know, they, I feel like the Seahawks have this potential to them. They just haven't been able to get through these opportunities that they've been given. And, you know, you know, with DK Metcalf is burning Deron Bland like that, you know, you know something. You know something's clicking there, like a G, like a click, a quick slant route to DK Metcalf, and he's gone. And that should have been the first signs of something good coming for Seattle, but no, they they messed it up. And you know they already played the 49ers once, you know, about a couple weeks ago, and it didn't go too well for them. And they're going to face them again. And the 49ers are riding high after their victory against Philadelphia. Bills Chiefs, to me, it's losing a little bit of bluster. Chiefs have been losing games they should be losing. We still have the lead in the AFC West. They're still going to win the AFC West more than likely. Unless a terrible collapse happens. And the Bills have been just the Bills. Like I think we all know what the Bills are capable of. They're, they're capable of doing great things, but they just squander it on their own terms with the defense and with Josh Allen, you know, turning the ball over or the offense just not being in sync with the Bills. That That's the kind of the three main things with the Bills. Chiefs have had problems, you know, all throughout the year. They just haven't looked. They haven't looked the same, but. They're still the Chiefs. It's still Patrick Mahomes. You cannot count out Patrick Mahomes. I'm still watching this game. It's still going to be a very good one, I imagine. You know, you know the Mahomes Allen rivalry continues. It continues. So we'll see how it goes. And then Cowboys Eagles too. This game will be in Cherry World. Philly needs to bounce back here. Dallas looking to continue to contend. You know, Dallas finally beat a team over 500 last week. They're looking to do it again. Philadelphia, you know, they're trying to stay at the number one spot. They have two losses now. And they, the Philadelphia is going to run the gauntlet. You know, they just played San Francisco for the play Dallas. You know, they still have other games on the schedule that need to be played. And it's going to be a tough time for the Eagles to keep this up. So, so Philly, they have to win this game. Dallas has to win this game too to try and get to that number one seed. I don't think n- neither one of these two teams wants to be stuck at the number five spot. I don't think either team wants to be stuck there, having to go on the road more than likely against the NFC South champ. I don't think you want to do that. And then there's a Monday night doubleheader, but the games are mid. You have. The Packers, Giants, and the Titans, Dolphins. The games are looking kind of mid to me, but, you know, it is what it is. I expect Jordan Love and Tyreek Hill to continue doing their thing. I expect those two guys to continue doing their thing. Just lighten it up. 
in the best way possible. So week 14 is here. It's tomorrow. We started off with that terrible, terrible game of Mitch Trubisky versus Bailey Zappi. I know it's going to be terrible. It's it's the, the fact that Bill Belichick has just kind of regressed is just crazy to me, too. It's really crazy. Like, how how did, you, how did you and your team regress, man? You're Bill Belichick. You know, you got, like, the quarterback. The quarterbacks are just not quarterback. It is not Bill's fault. I think it's the quarterback's coach. Whoever the QB coach and whoever the OC for New England is, it's their fault. It's not Bill's fault. We all know Bill is a defensive guy. And, like, the defense is keeping him in it, but the offense is putrid. But, yeah. I don't want to talk about a game I don't want to watch. And I know y'all don't want to talk about that either. So sound off. You know, we got a lot of new people coming to the channel, um, presumably from either um, the last couple of videos I made or, you know, the uh, the indoor arena update from uh, about a week or two ago. If So if you're coming from that, this is what we focus on, you know, kind of in the later stages of the year. Um, yeah, so that'll do it for me. Um, I'll see y'all sometime next week. Yeah. Hopefully my voice is better completely by then, too. So take care. Bye, y'all.